Have you ever wondered what happens during a solar eclipse? Well, you're not alone. These celestial spectacles have captivated humanity for centuries, sparking both awe and curiosity. Imagine the moon perfectly aligning with the sun, casting a shadow that turns day into night. It's a sight to behold indeed. But what's the science behind this stunning phenomenon? What makes a solar eclipse such a wonder? Today we'll delve into the science of solar eclipses. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of this fascinating cosmic event. To understand a solar eclipse first, we need to understand the positioning of the Sun, Moon, and Earth. Picture this. Our Earth spins on its axis while also orbiting around the Sun. The Moon, our closest celestial neighbor, orbits around Earth. Now, the Sun, Earth, and Moon don't always perfectly line up, in fact, most of the time they don't. The reason for this is the Moon's orbit around Earth is slightly tilted. To be precise, it's about 5 degrees off from Earth's orbit around the Sun. This tilt means that the Moon usually passes above or below the line between the Earth and the Sun. However, at certain times the orbits align just right, and an amazing cosmic event occurs. Now let's talk about the Moon phases. The lunar cycle, the Moon's journey from new Moon to full Moon and back again, is about 29 and a half days long. The new Moon phase, when the Moon is directly between the Earth and the Sun, is particularly significant for solar eclipses. During the new moon phase, the moon is invisible to us here on Earth because the side of the moon that is illuminated by the sun is facing away from us. It's during this phase when the moon is most likely to cross the path of the sun. However, not every new moon results in a solar eclipse. Remember that tilt in the moon's orbit we mentioned earlier? Well, for a solar eclipse to occur, the new moon must take place when the moon's orbit crosses the plane of the Earth's orbit around the sun. These crossing points are known as nodes, and when the new moon, earth and sun align at these nodes, we get to witness the breathtaking phenomenon of a solar eclipse. So, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, its shadow falls on the earth, causing a solar eclipse. This alignment, though it may seem simple, is the result of a cosmic ballet choreographed by the laws of physics and the dance of celestial bodies. It's a reminder that we are part of a much larger, wonderfully complex universe. Did you know there are different types of solar eclipses? That's right, not all solar eclipses are created equal. Let's delve into the three main types, total, partial, and annular. Starting with total solar eclipses, these are the ones that tend to get the most attention. They occur when the moon completely covers the sun, casting a shadow that completely blocks out the sun's light. For a few minutes, day turns into night, and you can see stars in the middle of the day. It's quite a spectacle. Then we have partial solar eclipses. These happen when the moon only partially covers the sun, casting a shadow that obscures only a portion of the sun's light. It's like someone took a bite out of the sun, and the effect can range from a small nibble to nearly the whole thing, depending on how much of the sun the moon covers. Last but not least, we have annular solar eclipses. These occur when the moon is at a point in its orbit where it's slightly further from Earth. As a result, it appears smaller and doesn't completely cover the sun, even at maximum eclipse. This leaves a bright ring or annulus of sunlight visible around the moon. It's often referred to as a ring of fire. Whether it's a total, partial, or annular eclipse, each offers a unique and awe-inspiring experience. Beyond their beauty, solar eclipses have a significant role in scientific discovery. These celestial events are not just breathtaking sights, they also serve as windows into the universe, providing us with invaluable insights. One notable example is the verification of Einstein's theory of relativity. During a solar eclipse in the early 20th century, astronomers were able to observe the bending of starlight around the sun, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein. This observation confirmed his groundbreaking theory, forever changing our understanding of gravity and the fabric of the universe. That being said, as we marvel at these cosmic wonders, it's crucial to take safety measures. Never look directly at a solar eclipse without proper eye protection. This can cause serious eye damage or even blindness. Special solar viewing glasses or indirect viewing techniques are recommended. So the next time you witness a solar eclipse, remember, it's not just a beautiful spectacle but a cosmic ballet that has much to tell us about our universe. If you liked the video, consider subscribing this channel.